still pictures or images, whatever you prefer to call them, are pretty boring. Um, there's no movement to them. As you can see, I can slide the scrubber around. There's no changes happening here in the preview window. Uh, there's an effect called a Ken Burns pan and zoom. He's the one that actually invented it years ago um, for the government to do some war documentaries and that. And, um, uh, and that's the typical thing where you maybe see a picture that starts off uh, the full picture and then it gradually zooms in, let's say it centers on the bride here or it pans across the crowd. You can make it do a number of different things. And in uh, PowerDirector it's very easy. I just click on the clip that I want to apply it to. I go right over here on the left and choose um, uh, incorporate zooms and pans into still photos. And then we're going to do pan and zoom. And you can see here by this little indicator that it's applied that effect to that particular photo. If I look at the photo right next to it, it's not there until I click on the, um, the photo and then click on pan and zoom. And now it's been applied to both. So if we drag this back to the beginning here and go ahead and play, you can see that it's taken a guess and just kind of applied a generic um, zoom into the shot. And then it's going to switch over to the next shot, shot here. And, um, oh, I'm on clip. That's why it didn't. So we can just go ahead and, and drag this over here. And we'll change to movie and play. And this is actually, the other one was zooming in. This one is zooming out. There's really not much panning going on. So let's dress that up a little bit. We're going to click on our first clip over here, and then we're going to choose um, the icon. We have to get back into that mode here, and we're into that mode. We've got our clip selected. We've already applied the pan and zoom. We can see the indicator here. So we're just going to click on Motion Designer. And this opens up a nice little window here where we can control where it pans and zooms to. Now you've got a starting point, and you have an ending point. So we want this the way it's set right now. It starts here. You can see the little frame here around the picture. Um, I can go ahead and uh, move that around by clicking on this little diamond, the blue diamond, and move that around. And that actually changes now the way it's going to start. And if I click on the end piece, you can see that that actually uh, this is where it it ends. So Cyberlink uh, is smart and applies that transition from pretty much a full screen here to a little smaller zoomed in screen. It fill, creates all the frames needed to create that nice smooth effect. Now these are actually called keyframes. The starting, uh, this is your starting keyframe and your ending keyframe over here. So um, we can make adjustments like I said to those. We can drag this down, maybe uh, zoom in a little more to her here. Just make sure you're grabbing the right diamond when you make your adjustments. Okay. And we can go back to the beginning here, and maybe uh, this this looks maybe satisfying to everybody. So now let's uh, let's go ahead and play this. And if you watch over here, you can see what happens as well. And you can see it's just gradually just zooming in on uh, the bride on the motorcycle, motorcycle mama here. So we're going to click pause. Uh, in fact, let's click stop to go back to the first uh, keyframe there. And uh, what we're going to do is drag this slider over here and what I want to do is I want it instead of immediately starting to zoom in I want it to hold here for a while for a few seconds so we're going to slide that over to here and we're going to say insert keyframe but it's a duplicate for keyframe so if I click this I get a little selection uh, menu that comes up and it says duplicate the previous keyframe. Well, what's the key previous keyframe? It's really the starting keyframe. So let's duplicate that. There. Now it says when you move from this keyframe to this keyframe, don't do anything with the picture, just stay there. But when it hits this keyframe, and on its way to this one is where the effect actually starts, as you can see. So then you might say, well, that's cool. But when I get over there, I want to insert another keyframe here and let's go duplicate the next keyframe which is what? The ending keyframe. So now it's going to pause on the end. So the only movement, uh, oops I can move the keyframe here, let's adjust that. So the only movement that is happening is from this point to this point. 
So let's let's go ahead and try that. Let's hit stop and then play and you'll see it's frozen here and when it hits that keyframe now it starts to zoom in and when it hits this other keyframe here it's going to stop and it's going to hold while it's zoomed in all the way to the ending keyframe. Okay now I can put a little twist in this and I can say uh, let's insert a keyframe right over here so let's slide our thing over here let's just insert a regular keyframe we're not going to uh, do any duplicates it's going to be kind of a loner and what we want to do with this one here is we're going to grab that blue diamond here again and we're going to say hmm for some strange reason I want to go over there okay and you can see the point of travel this is the um, the path the travel path here so let's see how weird this looks now so we'll go back to the beginning and let's hit play alright so it's gonna hold right there and then it's gonna zoom into this portion up in here alright and now it's gonna start working its way back down to zoom in on her, on her and it's gonna hold there so kinda cool huh and then we just click OK and we're good to go now if you need to edit again what you just did um, and let's go ahead and play it and see it in the big the big window here okay so we're on movie clip and let's drag this back to the beginning and let's watch it in a preview window here and you can see it in a nice big preview window okay so now if I want to edit that it's basically the same process click on the clip to select it go here ahead and uh, click on magic motion we're in a pan and zoom. We don't have to reapply it. We've already reapplied it. If we go ahead and, and click this again, um, I believe it erases what you just did. So you just want to click on Motion Designer. It opens up, and then there's our all of our keyframes, nice and clean here. Um, and in fact, let's try it. Let's click on um, Pan and Zoom, and um, you will lose the changes you made to the to the motion path if you continue. Are you sure you want to continue? Well, no so that would have reset it which would have been the same effect as if I went in here um, or where was it here if I would have clicked reset right here now I can also apply um, to all apply changes to all of the clips by the same type which you very rarely want to do and if I want to get out of the screen and back to our normal uh, media area net here just hit the X and there we are we're right back out